Hello everyone, today we are going to review the new Scorpion XO491. We have sent our rider out again and he came back with a lot of interesting data, so stay tuned. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe on our channel to stay up to date with all of our videos, reviews and road tests. While you are at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of the Scorpion XO491. Before we start with the review, first some general things. The Scorpion XO491 is a budget-friendly full-face helmet and the successor of the XO490. This new sports touring helmet is made for the novice rider who is looking for a reasonable helmet for a little money. The XO491 is intended for those who drive sportly but also want to make longer rides. The helmet comes with a ratchet closure and an integrated speed view sun visor. The Scorpion XO491 will compete with the Nolan N87, the Shark Squall 2.2, the HGC E70, the Shark Spartan RS and the Scorpion XO 1400R. The XO491 is a budget helmet and has a suggested real price of 139 euros. The helmet is pinlock prepared and has a quick wick C liner. The liner is removable, washable and moisture wicking. The fabric feels soft and is antibacterial. The liner also has quick fit cheek pads, which makes the helmet glasses friendly. These features can also be seen on the XO920, EVO and the XO930 from Scorpion. Ok, let's start with the skill first. The outer shell is made of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is less strong than fiberglass. As a result, more material is needed to provide an equivalent level of protection. Furthermore, the helmet comes in three shell sizes. Based on these results, the XO491 gets three stars. When we compare this to its competitors, we see that most helmets scored as well or even lower than the XO491. This is mainly because the XO491 comes in three shell sizes, where most of its competitors only have two shell sizes. The only helmet that did better was the Scorpion XO 1400R. You want a helmet to be as light as possible. A light helmet provides a pleasant driving experience and it prevents fatigue in the neck. If we weigh the Scorpion XO491 in a size M, the scale shows 1603 grams. But how good is this really? Let's take a look at the results of its competitors. If we look at the weight, we see that the XO491 with a weight of 1603 grams is one of the heaviest helmets compared to its competitors. The Shark Spartan RS stands out in this part with a weight of 1475 grams. The XO491 therefore scores quite low on this part and gets 3 stars for its weight of 1603 grams. Another important element of a helmet is the visor. Scorpion offers the option to expand the helmet with a Max Vision Pinlock lens. Pinlock has the great function of reducing condensation, what prevents a fog visor. A pinlock lens is placed on the inside of a visor so that it functions as a double glass. Unfortunately, the lens is not included in the box as standard. If we look at its competitors, we see that the XO491 compared to the rest scored the weakest. This is because the pinlock lens is not included as standard with this helmet. But, on the other hand, this makes the XO491 a lot cheaper than its competitors. Ok, great! So far the review in the studio. Now that we know this, let's move on to the next part, the road test. Before we look at how the helmet performs on the road, let's have a short explanation on how we collect our data. On the left you see a white thermometer that shows the temperature inside the helmet. The thermometer is connected to a sensor in the helmet. At the top center you see the decibel meter, which is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. This registers the sound as our driver hears it. On the right we see a telephone displaying the wind speed and the outside temperature. This is connected to a wind meter mounted on our bike. In the middle you see the dashboard of the motorcycle with the speed of our rider. Great! Now that we have had that, we start today's road test with the noise part. Our decibel meter at the top shows an average of 102 decibels. But how good is this compared to its competitors? 
If we put all of its competitors next to each other, we see that the XO491 scores slightly above average with its 102 decibels. The HGC i70 and the Shark Spartan RS score the best in this part with 99 decibels on the meter. The HGV K3 SV scores the least with its 105 decibels on the meter. The XO491 scores with its 102 decibels a decent 3 stars for noise. Ok, great. Now that we know this, we move on to the next part of our road test, the ventilation. Ventilation is a very important part of a full face helmet. The ventilation grills of the XO491 are located on the chin guard. At the back you can find the ventilation outlet, which ensures that the hot air is discharged. In this section we look at the difference between the indoor and the outdoor temperatures. We see the indoor temperature on the left of the white display. The thermometer on the phone indicates the outside temperature. Ok, now that we know that, the question remains, how does the XO491 perform in terms of ventilation? Our right thermometer indicates a value of 15 degrees. This is 2 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. What does this mean compared to its competitors? If we look at the competitors, we see that the XO491 scores quite low. Most have a difference of zero, which means that both of the indoor and outdoor temperatures are the same. Together with the Nolan N87+, Plus, the XO491 has a difference of 2 degrees. Still, there is one helmet that does even lesser than both, namely the Bell Qualifier DLX. The temperature in this helmet was 8.5 degrees warmer than the temperature outside. All in all, the XO491 scores 3 stars in terms of ventilation. Now, we have arrived at the only subjective part of our road test, which we call comfort. But it is actually so much more than just comfort. In this section we look at things like the comfort, the finishes, the wind resistance and the overall feel of the helmet. These criteria are difficult to capture in hard data. This is why for this part we rely on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider. First of all, our rider indicated that the inner liner was reasonable considering the price. At this price point you just can't be too demanding when it comes down to comfort. You can also really notice that you have an entry level helmet on. The liner feels very different from a high end helmet such as the Shoei GT R2. The options that you have with high end helmets are also missing. Think of quick release for example. Also, in the lining of high-end helmets are better facilities for people who wear glasses. Our rider also indicated that the helmet behaved well on the road. It felt streamlined and he had experienced a little wind resistance despite of the fact that there was still quite a lot of wind. Also, our rider confirmed that the helmet was noisy and the wind noise was significant in the helmet. He said that this was actually the case with almost all the helmets in this price range. So, don't expect too much in terms of sound isolation. All in all, our test rider thought it was a reasonable helmet where you still get some reasonable options considering its price. He therefore gave the helmet a score of 2.5 stars. If we compare this with its competitors, we see that the XO491 does not have a top score in this area either. He certainly does not come out as the lowest in the test, but also not as the highest. The HGC i70 did the least in this part and received 1.5 stars, where the Shark Spartan RS stands out in this part with 3.5 stars. The majority of the competitors scored 3 stars on this part. This brings us to the end of this road test. We have seen that the Scorpion XO491 scored high in material, but low on the visor, ventilation, noise and weight. On comfort the helmet scored average. This gives the helmet a champion helmet score of a 5.9. Do you want to know more about its competitors or are you curious about the great discount bundles we have for the XO491? View the helmet in our shop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, I am Liv from Champion Helmets and I will see you next time.